Welcome back. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. We have a wonderful surprise for you today. We're going to talk about this tool, Repair Body. And this Repair Body tool is really great when something like this happens. This thing, not a shark, it's supposed to be a surfboard. I was actually making another video about merging the edge tool, and this happened. Now this happens when you have, if you look at the back here, if you have overlapping panels. So this panel here technically went inside of this panel and it's not supposed to look like this. This is a really bad scenario. But this happened just from simply drawing a insert point line. I drew one really close. Let me see if I can try this. This might not work, but um, actually, you know what? Before I even mess with this, let me just talk about the repair tool, repair body. So if you select this, nothing's going to happen. But then when you select the body that you want to repair, if there's an issue like this, so this used to be smooth like this fin here, but now it's jagged. It's very, very jagged. The same as if I did this. It, this smoothness turned into that. That's what happened. So we don't want that. It's supposed to be like this, which it is right now, but it's not showing me. So repair body, select your thing, and all of a sudden these little markings come up, these T's and stars. These T's and stars tell you where things are good and where things are not good. Really simple. The yellow is good. Red is broken. Broken T's. This is strange how both sides, one side is yellow and one side is red because it's supposed to be symmetry. Which means everything I do here should be the exact same. So something is on the symmetry end is actually throwing some errors here, which is definitely a fusion side problem. Not mine, but I can still fix it. So a star is a four jointed side. You can't see it here because it's all screwed up. A T is simply a T joint. What I mean by force jointed is right here you have this line connecting with this line. The intersection here, the point that's supposed to be there in the middle, creates a, a four sided joint. This here, this T, there's one and two, but this doesn't continue through, which makes it a T. It's just, it's a really literal thing. Um, whatever it's called when a letter looks like the thing that it's supposed to represent, or a, a word sounds like the thing it's supposed to define. I, for, I can't think of words right now that are that, but I'm sure you can look them up. So it's really easy. You can either do two things. These options, forget about them. This just shows you what's popping up here. You can either click the individual errors. You can click these two, but it doesn't do very much. Click the errors, or you can just hit this, auto repair. So your best bet right now, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're still new to Fusion 360, this is your first, let's say, 100 hours on Fusion 360, just hit the auto repair button, and it should, if you watch, it's going to go through all these parts, and it's going to try to fix it, and it should fix it if your thing is not too complicated. So here we go. And that's what happened. This surfboard did not look like that. It looks like some 1950s concept car. So what I'm going to do is, this is just an example of how, how this is supposed to work. Uh, let me try and show you what it used to be. If I hit cancel, if I go back. So what I did is I took an insert point here. I was adding some lines here to connect with this fin, make the same number of lines and directions. And I added a line here to here. But now I can't do it anymore because I hit the button. I can't go back forward. So I added a line from here to here, somewhere around there. It, it threw an error. Now it doesn't. So sometimes it's just a one-off. Maybe it's a it's a code side error. Maybe the mirroring was the problem. The mirror function didn't work properly. Whatever it might be. But that's what happened. And that's how you fix it. If that ever happens to you, repair body and you can fix it pretty easily. If you can't fix it, then you have some really big issues. Uh, my suggestion is to either save your file, make sure it uploads to the cloud, the Autodesk cloud. Maybe it takes about five seconds to a minute, depending on your internet connection. Close Fusion, open it back up, open your file up, and maybe that will fix it because it could be something that just a simple restart will work with. Um, if it doesn't, then you can backtrack on your timeline here. 
if that's possible, because sculpting doesn't have a timeline. Or uh, you can go to the forums in Fusion 360's Autodesk, the website. But either way, there's a few options to, to try and fix it. Auto repair should fix it. It really should. If it doesn't, then something else is happening and you might want to consider all the different options and contact someone in the forums that might know. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.